This is Kelty's Ignite Dry Down 20 degree down sleeping bag. Um, key story here is going to be obviously the dry down insulation. This is 600 uh, down insulation and it is dry down. Typically, um, you get great performance from down bags in form of compressibility as well as the loft, insulation, longevity. The downside to down bags have always been that once they get wet, they stay wet and they don't insulate. With dry down insulation, you've got each plume of down that's coated with a hydrophobic material so it doesn't want to absorb water, doesn't get wet. So now, even in damp climates, anywhere from the northwest to the southeast, northeast, you're going to be able to take a dry down bag, this Ignite 20, uh, and you're going to get that sort of down performance that you want with the same sort of weather resistancy uh, and, and, and protection from moisture that you would expect from a synthetic bag. Let's take a look at some of the other features in the Ignite Dry Down 20. You've got a full length zipper and it is a two-way zipper so you've got another opening at the end here if you want to vent your feet in warmer temperatures. And I'd also like to note that that full length zipper does not run maybe the last foot and a half of the bag. Uh, having a zipper here doesn't really improve the thermal efficiency of a foot box in your sleeping bag. Kelty's definitely made the effort to have this be a dimensional foot box. You've got some separate baffling here. It's really going to allow your feet to, to kind of lay naturally and be comfortable at night while having a thermal efficiency that you'd expect out of a down insulated mummy bag. Got a couple of hang tags here. Uh, you can use them for storage or to dry the bag out should it get wet. Behind that full length zipper, you do have an insulated draft tube here. You can see that. And Kelty's put in this gray piping here. It's actually a reinforced material that really helps the zipper from snagging and catching on that baffle. You have a hood on this bag. It's a nice ergonomic hood. You have some separate chambers there, all filled with down, so it's going to be warm as well as fit your head quite comfortably. Uh, inside here, Kelty does include a down-filled collar around the top of the bag here. Uh, it doesn't go the whole way around. It's only a 20-degree bag, so it's not really necessary, but they do give you that little bit of extra around the face, and you can see it's kind of free-floating, so you could fold it down or tuck it under if it's in the way. That full-length zipper comes all the way up, and you've got a little garage there to park it in so that keeps that zipper out of the way not pushing up against your face and you do have dual adjustment cords here so you can cinch in the bag around the top of the face or under the chin. So I just want to cover some of the differences between the, uh, the Ignite Dry Down 20 for women and that Ignite Dry Down 20 for men. Uh, the women's has a different length. It only comes in one length and that is fits to five feet eight inches. So if you're taller than that, you're going to want to take a look at the men's version. Um, if not, the women's is going to be perfect. Or if you're a shorter guy, um, you definitely want the thermal efficiency of the mummy bag design. The women's might be a better option for you. But one of the other differences here, I'll hold this up so you can get a look at it. So you can see the overall cut and shape of this bag. It's definitely cut a little narrow through the shoulders versus the men's bag, wider through the hips, and you go back to that narrow cut in the feet. Gives you good thermal efficiency, matches up well with the women's shape of a women's body versus men who typically have a broader shoulder. The Ignite Dry Down 20 does come with a stuff sack. Packs down into a pretty decent package for a 20 degree down bag. You could definitely tuck this into a compression stuff sack and make it even smaller.